Hi everyone, so this is a bit of a different video for me today. So normally it's Olitz and Darvi edits, but because uh, we're all in quarantine at the minute, um, I've had a bit more time on my hands, so what I thought I'd play on The Sims again. Uh, so first of all, I just want to apologise that this is really cropped. Uh, something went wrong when I screen recorded it, um, I'm not sure what, uh, but now it's cropped. So if anyone knows why, uh, if you can let me know, that would be great. Uh, so this is actually the second time I'm building this. Um, before I just had base game, but I really wanted to have an apartment with the cityscape. Uh, so I bought city living purely uh, just for that. And I asked on Twitter and some people said they want to see it. So here we go. So, so far I've done the overall layout. Um, as I said, I already made this, so it was pretty straightforward. Um, doing the layout so I've done the like entrance area um, with the um, elevator um, and then we've got the entrance hall and then you've got the main living space um, so I started with the kitchen because I just thought that was the easiest to do because um, it's just all black countertops and then the white um, counters on top um, and then we've got the little island as well um, with all the seating. Um, so the kitchen's actually one of my favourite bits to build because um, it just gets me in my feels. So, uh, spoiler alert, I feel like if you're watching this, you've watched all of Suits. Um, but when I'm building this, I just think of, um, you know, um, at the start of, is it 904? Where... They're having coffee um, and then they go in the bedroom and kiss and it's really cute. Um, and then in the episode where they're going on the road trip um, and he like coughs and says, I love you too, which says you're an idiot. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I think the kitchen is probably one of the bits that was easiest um, to replicate um with like the bar stools and the colouring um was pretty straightforward um so the next bit I did was uh put the columns in place um which again was quite straightforward I just couldn't remember where I put them um and I think the annoying thing because I'd already built it I wanted to put things in the exact same position um so it just took me ages moving things around Okay, so the next bit is um, Harvey's office. Um, and this bit, it really annoyed me to build. So basically, because he's got two shells um, and they're all touching each other, I had to do move objects. and Because if you want them to be next to each other, they have to merge. And then it didn't fit with the walls. So I've had to create this area with the two walls just to hide the fact that the bookshelves um, didn't fit. Um, and then we've got his desk and just put his computer. Um, and then um, a lamp. Now, oh no, so I'll go back and did the um, kitchen where he's got these hanging lights. Now they weren't really perfect. Um, and from building this and doing my videos I've realised that I'm quite a perfectionist with making sure things that fit so probably building something on The Sims isn't good for me because obviously I can't replicate everything perfectly um, and also um, I didn't want to use customisable content to make this um, so this is I've got base game, um, get to work and then city living uh, but I think most things I used were base game um, and I will save this into the gallery because um, I know some people on Twitter said to me that um, they want a link so I'll leave that um, in the description below. Um, another thing yeah with my perfectionism um, that really irritates me is again obviously I can't replicate the paintings and the Sims paintings are just not ideal so we'll just have to ignore and the paintings. Um, so this bit I'm doing is just his entrance hall uh, where he's got a table and this like decoration. So I use that. And then the lamp. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I use this lamp everywhere um, because it replicates the one that I think 
he's got. Uh, so this bit, we're doing his dining area. Um, and it took me just quite a while to decide which table um, I wanted, so I went with that one. Um, the chairs were pretty straightforward as well to do. Um, and then I think the, um, yeah, so I did the white brick wall here. And I think, again, perfectionism, that the wall, it's not quite right. I think his has more cream tones in it. Um, but this was the best I could do. So uh, a white brick wall. And then um, got his console. Um and again, it just took me a while to decide which one I liked. I think I go with the one on the left in the end. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, again, the paintings just irritate me. I don't know why I do this to myself. I probably should have just got made the paintings myself to make me happy. But I just thought if people want it, it's easier um, if I just use the ones that are on there so Harvey's got the one um of a car and there's nothing like that so um I just went with something that's black and white um I think I end up going with the ones that um like three canvases um but it just took me quite a while to decide which one and then I think it's the same standard. I'm just gonna start calling that like the Harvey Specter lampshade because I literally use it everywhere um, in this build. And then little statue. And then I think he's got like drinks, but they don't have that. So what I've ended up using is I think it's like the male like fragrance because I think it looks like whiskey bottles. So I put that somewhere else as well. Um, and then moving on to his um, living space. Um, he's got like a dark rug so I was just trying to find one that was the most similar um, and then I couldn't remember if when I made it on base game um, if I scaled it down or not so this was just me for just trying to figure out what size I wanted it and then yeah doing the lamp and um this is the other bit I think this is the bit about the whole build that annoys me the most is um the fireplace so obviously Harvey's got this like small glass like inbuilt fireplace uh into the wall that Sims just doesn't have um so I couldn't replicate so I gave up on that for now and um, we're doing the seating area because that's a lot easier. So it's just uh, black couches, um, black seats. Um, I think I just changed, yeah, to the other one that has cushions on. Um, and then the table. Okay, so I'll go back to doing um, the console. Um, and it was trying to decide which one um I couldn't get anything that was close because his are more like a really long cabinet that they didn't have um this is literally just what I'll be saying the whole thing they just didn't have what I wanted um I'm sorry I'm like a broken record um so I did these two um and because it, his one's quite long I had to stick them together um so just ignore the crossover and then the table and then obviously I had to do the cactus um, thank you to Julia um, on Twitter. She's also on here. I'll link her channel below uh, for teaching me how to uh, get objects to float so I could put the cactus um, on the table because uh, it wouldn't be Harvey's apartment without uh, the cactus that uh, Donna gave him. Uh, so yeah, so this is the part where I was trying to decide did I want to replicate the uh, fireplace? So I thought I could replicate it by using the TVs um, and it kind of works but because they overlap it just didn't look right. So I gave him a TV um, instead so he can watch Survivor, uh, make Donna watch Survivor and then he can watch Oprah in the mornings as well. Uh, so now I'm just decorating um, and yeah I used a different lamp. <laughs> um, and then just trying to decorate the things that he's got. Um, I 
couldn't find a good picture to figure out what he had on there. Um, so I've just done like some cars and books and uh, things like that. Um, and yeah, and then just going back to his office, um, he's just got this area with this lamp um, and this like table. Um, and obviously towards the end of season nine, uh, when Donna gets the painting back, sorry, spoiler alert, um, he puts the painting there and obviously I couldn't get the painting and it really annoyed me. Um, so I thought I'd use this picture because Harvey likes jazz music because of his dad. So, um, it's cats playing like a saxophone or something. So I've put that there. Um, I could have made it custom, um, but I don't know how to do that. I know, uh, is it Maya on Twitter? Um, said she created it, uh, which is amazing. Um, she's got a video on Twitter. I'll link it below where she's done it and it looks amazing. Um, but I just don't have that talent. So at cat painting, it is. Um, so yeah, so now I'm doing um, the area by the window where he's got like a chair um, and like a footrest. Um, and I think it's like a bar cart. Um, and I think I was just deciding like on the positioning, I was trying to replicate it, but then also just what f looked right on the Sims. Um, so because I couldn't do the bar cart, I just used this table that's got like a glass counter. And again, I use my favorite, uh, like aftershave bottles to look like whiskey. Um, and then just creating the um, door area into the mystery space that we've never seen um, into. Um, now, I assume it's a spare room, so that's what I do with it later because of what um, they say. I can't remember what season it's in, but it's when um, Donna pretends to cry to Lewis and then Harvey says, oh, is that what you did Like when you convinced me to let your parents stay over? So I assume he's got a spare room. So that's what we do there. Um, just using my favourite lights just to get a bit more um, light in there. Um, and then, yeah, so doing um, his bedroom, it was pretty straightforward um, with the layout. So loads of windows as I've done um, with the rest. So just trying to get the sizing right um, and then the column again just trying to get that into the right place and then um, yeah I used that bed because I thought it was the most similar and then um, doing the side tables now this took me quite a while because I couldn't decide which ones I liked I used a different one uh, when I made it originally with base game but then I quite like these ones but I couldn't get them to fit properly so I spent quite a while just moving around tables I think I leave it like that and then doing his seating area which is quite similar uh, to the one that I just made in like the living space by the window um, and then it's got that lamp which I've used quite a lot as well because it's quite similar to ones that they have on the show and then yeah back to the tables these are the ones I used in base games, so I was like, do I like those better? So I was just playing around with those for a while. And then, yeah, I think I went back to the ones that I originally used. And then, surprise, surprise, those lamps again. Um, because, actually, I think Harvey just has this similar lamp everywhere, and this is the best one the Sims have, so yeah, it just goes everywhere. Um, and then doing his dresser area um i think that this one's the most similar um but i took some time choosing because i think the orange was just a bit too bright but i ended up um just keeping it in there um with the lamp again that lamp um and then again this is another bit that the painting is just wrong um so i went with the red theme because I think the one Harvey has, it's like, it's like a hotel, um, like, corridor. 
Um, so this was the best one I could do colour-wise. Um, again, I should have just made it myself, but I don't know how to do that. So that one will do. Obviously for that iconic moment, 904, in front of the dresser. Um, and then a mirror. Now, I'm not sure if there actually is a mirror. Like, I've never seen it properly. Um, but when I was doing my research to make this... Um, the auction they did at the end of the show had loads of pictures um so if anyone is thinking about building this themselves i'd recommend looking up the suits auction because they've got loads of reference pictures and one of them had a um like floor length mirror uh in that area so i put it there uh so his bathroom and then again another mystery room uh, that we haven't seen into um so the bathroom um there was a reference picture that I was working on but then I was also looking um from the two dream sequences that he had so um mainly the one um where he dreams that Donna's in his bed um with Tanner and he's in the bathroom so I used that and then some reference pictures so he's got quite like a long counter with the sink so um I just made made that um he's got like a double shower that's built into the wall um so what I think I ended up doing is I I know in uh the university you can now build like walk-in showers um but I just thought it would be a slippery slope if I bought University Life just for the showers. Um, I'd already gone against what I thought I was going to do and I bought City Living just for like the cityscape, uh, which is such a stupid thing to do. But, you know, isolation, I'm doing crazy things. Um, but I thought it was too far to buy University just for the showers and I just end up buying every expansion pack and my bank account would hate me um so I just used this shower and just kind of accepted that it would look like that um so yeah just decorating um the sink area um and then the room next door that we've never seen into I've seen on twitter that um someone suggested that it was like a gym or something or like a tv room or something but because i've put the tv um where the fireplace would be i thought i would make like a dressing area so just putting a dresser in um so this side is harvey's side um so just put some shoes um and then i put those like wall hangings it just took me a while to find where they were because I haven't played on the sims um in a long time uh so yeah I had to get his suits in um and then I had to decide which color and then actually like editing this I've realized that brown jacket's quite like the one where he went on the road trip so I'm quite happy with my choice um and then yeah and then the other side um I just did like Donna's side because for my build this is where they're living um so yeah just put some shoes down and then some like dresses for like work and stuff and then some shoes as well so yeah I don't know what other people think is in this room but I've just decided it's um, a dressing area um and then finishing his room I forgot to do the rug so just put that in I think that one's actually quite a good match to the one that um he actually has um and then I just resized it because I realized the room was just a bit bigger than what it should have been um so just had to move a few bits around um and then yeah just to finish his room um I know he's got like um an exercise bike in his room um but they don't have an exercise bike so I had to put this in it was a bit big um but it kind of works so just left that there yeah so this room um as I call it the mystery room um 
yeah, I decided it's going to be the spare room. So um, just put a bathroom in there. Um, yeah, I know there's like a fan fiction out there or something where I can't remember what it's called, but it's really good. It's like one of my favourites where Donna's apartment is like flooded or something and she's stay over um, and she has to stay in his room. But for purposes of this build, because I didn't know what the mystery room was, it's a spare room. So sorry to the fan fiction readers who um, say he doesn't have a spare room. For me, I think because it is canon, isn't it? The fact that um, her parents had to stay somewhere where they um, came to New York. So, yeah, I didn't put too much in here. Um, and then, obviously, if um, there wasn't a TV in the living room, I put a TV in here, so Harvey could watch Survivor um, in here as well, because uh, he hasn't got a TV in his room. Um, and then, yeah, just do me en suite. And then, I think... Originally, I was going to do a desk area in here, um, but then I changed my mind. Um, I think I put it into like a dressing area. Um, yeah, I wanted to put a rug in here, but it took me so long to decide where to put this rug. It just didn't look right, and because the layout of the room doesn't quite work um, with the rug, I just, yeah did that for ages and then just put some artwork um on the top as well um now on this um i haven't shown um doing the balcony area but at the end when i show you like an overview of the place um i'll show it but i just thought it was quite boring me building the balcony area so um, i haven't shown that but um you'll see it at the end so yeah this desk area I liked it but I just thought no we'll we'll do a dresser instead so um put some books on there and then is it the trusty lamp I feel like it is yeah trusty lamp is on there um and then I think that's the apartment pretty much done oh yeah so um the entrance area I didn't spend too long doing this um, to be honest, because after I built this on base game and then rebuilt this on here, I was kind of just a bit over it and I was just like, I wanted to get it done. Um, so yeah, and then I think there was just a painting that I forgot to do, but it's just by the doorway um, that I do. Oh yeah, when I was painting something, the brick wall disappeared, so I just put that back in. Um... Yeah, the pictures that he's got are quite, like, contemporary, I think, by the door, but I didn't have that. Okay, so this is um overview of the apartment, so just um, walks around. Um, if you like this, um, please let me know. I'm thinking about building Donna's apartment and maybe the um, offices. Um, also, in the past, I've made... Um, all of the scandal verse as well so if you watch scandal um, and you're interested I can build those again um, because they uh, are all on my old laptop so I don't have them anymore so yeah so if you want to see more just let me know in the comments and I can film these um, again so yeah so this is just the spare room and then I'll do a quick overview um, of the balcony so we've got like a seating area and then um, I've got some basketball um, I couldn't do baseball because I thought it can't really hit a ball off the side <laughs> um, but yeah but if you like this uh, let me know thanks for watching guys see you soon bye